In this video, we'll be looking at matching logarithmic functions with their corresponding graphs. So you see I have four functions here and four graphs here. To do this, we'd like to first consider the general form of the natural logarithmic function that we've used in class. We have y equals a ln x, where the parameter a, or the coefficient in front there, has two possibilities. Either this a value will be bigger than zero, and it will be positive, or the a value will be less than zero, and it will be negative. And this will dictate the shape of the graph. If the a value is positive, then we get an increasing logarithmic function. So it will start down in quadrant 4 and increase as it moves up to quadrant 1. So you get this shape kind of going this way. If we have a negative a value, then the logarithmic function is going to start in quadrant 1 and decrease as it moves towards quadrant 4. And again, turning the same way, but almost like a reflection of the positive log graph. So looking at my four options here, I can see I've got two negative graphs. I've got a negative one-half ln x, and I've got a negative two ln x. So those would be paired with either graph three or graph four. Then I need to look at the size of the a value. So I have one-half for a, and I have two for d. So what we need to remember is that the larger the a value, the faster the y values are going to increase. So in other words, the more stretched out this graph is going to become vertically. So when I look at graph 3 here and compare it to graph 4, I can see that the y values are further stretched out on 4 than they are on 3. In 3, they're kind of closer together. Our turn in our graph is a bit sharper. This one's got more of a gradual turn. So for 3, we'd match that with A. Because again, we have that sharper turn that pairs with that smaller value of A in front. And for D, because it's my only other option, I know it has to pair here with 4. But also, if I look at the turn, it's a much more gradual turn, which means the Y values will be farther apart because they're increasing more quickly because we've got that 2 in front. So now I want to look at the two positive graphs. And I've got 2 ln X and a half ln X. So I know they're going to be paired with 1 and 3. And I'm going to look at the same thing for the A value again. Again, the larger the A value, the more gradual the turn is going to be on that logarithmic graph because the Y values will be more spaced out because we're increasing a bit more quickly. So this graph is increasing more quickly than this graph. So if I look at Y equals 2 ln X, I can see I've got a fairly gradual turn here. So that means that B would match up with graph 2. And if I look at C, I've got that one half value, meaning that the Y values are not increasing as quickly as they would be for graph two here. So that would have to pair with the one half. 